Hello, this is Ty Anderson for Add Express, and in this video I will show you how to build a real-time data server that works with Excel. If you aren't familiar with what a real-time data server is, real-time data servers are COM automation servers that implement the IRTD server COM interface, and they allow for the flow of real-time data or changing data from a data source be provided and updated inside of an Excel workbook. A good example is if you use a formula that's based or that is part of an RTD server, Excel loads it and it waits for the new data from the RTD server to be provided and then it inserts it into the place where you have inserted a formula. Okay, so I think that's enough theory. Let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio. And the key thing when creating an RTD server is to open up Visual Studio as the administrator. So to make sure that I do so, I will hit my start menu and here's my Visual Studio 2010 shortcut and I'll right click and say run as administrator which opens up Visual Studio 2010 and I know that I'm running as administrator because if I look up in the title bar of the Visual Studio window we see start page Microsoft Visual Studio and then in parentheses administrator so if you open up Visual Studio and you want to make sure just check the title bar for administrator and now we know that we're ready to create an RTD server Excel automation add-in. We'll get started by clicking the new project button from the toolbar and then inside of the new project dialog heading to the other project types node and under that extensibility where we see the ADX RTD server project type and we will call this just my random RTD server. I'll leave everything else as the default. I can say OK to open up the new Microsoft Excel RTD server project wizard. For my programming language we'll use Visual Basic and we'll just create a new strong name and click finish for the project to open inside of Visual Studio. After Visual Studio creates the project, you notice this RTD server module in the Solution Explorer. And this is the core part of the RTD server project. And what it is is the class that implements the IRTD server COM interface, which allows you to manage the server's topics and then as well as attach code, any code you need to implement your business rules. The RTD server module also has, it has a designer as well as a code window, which I will select and say view code where we will see just the stubbed out code that's automatically created for us by the project but one of the main things to point out is this read-only property called current instance which provides the current instance of the real-time data server module and can be called anywhere from in, inside of your project. Now let's go back to the designer and look at a couple of the properties here. One, if we look, there, there are two main properties really to concern yourself with on the designer for the RTD server module. One's the interval, which is currently set to five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. We're going to leave that as the default. So this will cause the RTD server to be polled at that interval when it's inserted as a function inside of your Excel spreadsheet. Then in terms of register for all users is currently set to false so this would be a per user RTD server available only to the current user uh, we could set it to true and make it available to everyone and this gets into your registry settings whether it's H key local machine or H key current user so set this to true or false as you want we're gonna leave it just available for the current user with those properties set now, what we need to do is add a topic, and I will right-click on the RTD Server Module Designer, and I will say Add RTD Topic, and with it selected, we'll see that we have, one, it's enabled, I could set a default value, I could check, I could state whether or not to check for the old value, so what this does is Add an Express uses this property to decide if the cell contents should be refreshed when the new topic value is equal to the currently displayed one. Uh, I'm going to leave it at, at false, but then notice too we have string 01 all the way down to string 28 and these are all different parameters that we can use and send to our functions inside of the RTD server. We also have a tag property which is if you're familiar with Office Development it's just a place where we could store some data that we could use or for any of our purposes and then we could use the stored value if false the RTD topic returns the default value and if it's true then the RTD topic returns the last value shown in the previous session so this allows us to have a little bit of data caching uh, in this case we're just going to leave it at false which means it's going to uh, return the default value when Excel starts 
So here what we want to do is in string 01, I'm going to say randomize. And that'll be my topic. And then this will then allow me to call it in this event. I'm going over here to the event view. And in the refresh data, I will double click here to stub out my event handler. And in the refresh data, this is where I can specify what to return for the ADX RTD topic one in any of the strings. I can use any of the strings that I define, in this case, just string 01, and return what I want based off of what's passed to this topic, which in this case is just a simple random number. Uh, with, we call refresh data what we'll do, just a quick two line function where we'll do uh, RND as a new system random type and then we'll just return RND next and we'll use a max value as 2000. Now we're ready to build and test out the solution and what we'll do is just build it and then next I'll register the ADX project and now that that succeeded we're ready to give this a test. So let's open up Excel 2010 And to call our function, the randomized function, what we need to do is just input it inside of a cell using the RTD function, the Excel function for retrieving real-time data. I'm going to go ahead and delete that for now because what we need to do is call it first by using the prog ID attribute that's found inside of the RTD server module class. And by default, this prog ID is your project name dot the class name, the RTD server module name. Now this is fine if you never, if you were to never to change your project name or the server module name, uh, but if you if you relied only on those two things, you, you, there's potential for problems because if you did change the project name or the server name or even your namespace uh, and relied on that for your function, that would be trouble because the prog ID attribute never changes. So just make sure you always use the prog ID attribute when calling these and let your users know what the right, what the right call is because the prog ID attribute would not change. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go back to Excel and we'll say RTD and we'll say my random RTD server dot RTD server module. So that's the prog ID that we need to use. Then for the topic, I'm going to put in our function that we want to call, which is randomize, and close it out and say OK. And now within about five seconds, we should see a random number generate in D5. There we go, right on cue, and should do so continually for every five seconds as long as I want to keep this open. So I think you get the idea. So I will close Excel. OK. So in this video, I showed you how to quickly get started building an RTD server, which is an automation COM-based add-in for Excel. And then I walked you through how to build a function and then ultimately use that inside of Excel. And as you can see, it's easy to get going. Add-in Express takes care of a lot of the framework, most of it, and allows you to focus on your business rules. I recommend digging in on the developer guide that's available online to learn more.